We now return you to Carl Phillips at Drover's Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, my aunt. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am, back of the stone wall, enjoying Mr. Wilbur's garden. From here, I get a sweep of the whole scene. I'll give you every detail as long as I can talk and as long as I can see. More state police have arrived. They're drawing up a cordon in front of the pit. About 30 of them. No need to push the card back now. They're willing to keep their distance. The captain's conferring with someone. Can't quite see who. Oh, yes, I believe it's Professor Pearson. Yes, it is. Now, now they parted. The professor moves around one side. Studying the object while the captain and the two policemen advance with something in their hands. I say now it's a white handkerchief tied with a pole. The flag of truce. Those creatures know what that means, what anything means. Wait a minute, something's happening. A shape is rising out of the pit. They make out a small beam of light against the mirror. What's that? They the flame springs in the mirror and reach the light of the magic men. Head on. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. We continue now with our piano interval. 